Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Taipan, which was released with the SA Supersport Series DLC. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is going to cost you $1.9 million, almost $2 million. So, a very, very expensive vehicle. And uh, according to Bruffy, it's not very good around the track, which is um, obviously not reflecting very well on its price tag, because... Like I said, according to Bruff, it's not very good around the track. It does only come 36th in the supercar class, if I remember correctly. Not only for the price, but it's a brand new supercar, and it's that bad around the track. It's not good enough, man. Definitely not good enough. I'm past supercars on, on this game. I really couldn't give two shiny shites about supercars in this game anymore. They're bringing them out. They're pretty much just recycled versions of things we've already got in the game. None of them look especially different or nothing unique about them. These are the sort of vehicles that I'm excited about now. The GB200. I was fucking so excited when I saw that this was released in the game. Obviously with the unreleased vehicles that we've got now. We've got the Super coming. We've got the GT500 coming. We've got the Mini Cooper coming. Uh, we've even got a... Uh, RS uh, Fiesta coming, the Ken Block Fiesta coming. So I've got, we've got some exciting vehicles coming. They're the sort of vehicles I get excited about, you know, because they're different. All these supercars are put there just to line the pockets of Rockstar, and you know, I, I just hate them. Supercars are shit. <laughs> There's no character about them. They all look the same. So, but I am going to be doing this video. Obviously, I'm not going to be biased just because I don't like supercars. I'm not going to be biased about this car. Um, in any sort of way, I'm going to give it give it to you straight exactly how I feel about it. Um, not how I feel about supercars in general, but how I feel about this Taipan. And uh, from the get go, the price tag puts me off big time. Not only because it's nearly two million dollars. No, no, no. If it was two million dollars and the fastest supercar in the game, I'd be more than happy to pay that. But it's not. But anyway, guys, I am going to be purchasing this vehicle right about now for one. 0.98 million dollars we're going to get into ls customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so you go my dudes as you put into ls customs you'll see the taipan is obviously like i've already said in the supercar category now we're going to start this build with 100 body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to purchase the race brakes then we've got an option for the bumper we're going to start with the front bumper and uh only a couple of options we've got the primary extended diffuser which isn't terribly different then we've got the secondary, so it's just exactly the same. It's just going to go with a secondary colour. And then we've got a carbon version of that. Fucking whoop de doo Loads of changes there. And then we've got a competition diffuser. So, in my opinion, I think the competition diffuser probably looks the nicest on this. Um, these ones, there's hardly any change, you know? Look at that. There's hardly any change, and there's three different types and all it is is a colour change, and I'm really disappointed with that. So I'm going to go with the one that changes the look of it the most, and that's going to be the competition diffuser. Next we've got the rear bumpers. So we've got the primary fins, then we've got the secondary fins, and then we've got its lit, which is... <sighs> There's no different. No difference at all. That's going to cost you nearly 12 grand <laughs> for it as well. What the fuck? I don't get it. It's just literally the colour change. I ain't buying that shit, man. So I'm going to say stock for the rear bumper. Then we're going to move on to the chassis. Uh, so only one option for this. We've got the carbon side vent. Uh, that doesn't look, actually look too bad. So I'm going to grab that. Then we're going to go to the engine. I'm going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then the exhaust. So we've got a good amount of options for the exhaust as well. I can't really see what it is like at the moment because the engine's on and it's puffing out smoke. So if I hold down the accelerator, you still can't really see what it is. Is that a, is that a triple? A triple exhaust I, I can see? If I, Maybe. I have no idea. But anyway, the twin bore exhaust looks pretty sweet. And then we, re, then we move the positioning of the exhausts to the sides. We've got the quads. Oh my fucking word. Then they go up to the top. And then we've got these ones at the top as well. Uh, personally, I think this twin big bore looked the nicest. So I'm going to go with them. Next, we've got an option for the hood. So we are going to probably change this hood. Even though the stock hood is quite nice as it is. We've got the discreet vented. Ah, oh, the big vent. That looks quite nice. The arrowhead looks sweet. So these are pretty good options for the hood. I like that, man. That looks cool. It's very similar to the stock hood as well. But I think uh, the performance hood looks a little bit nicer. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's probably the best looking one, so I'm going to go with that. Next, we're going to go to the lights, headlights, and purchase the Xeon headlights. And for this car, we do get a mirror option, which is 
I'm not going to change anything. Oh my fucking god. What is the point? <laughs> what is the point of giving us a mirror option if you're not actually going to change the design? It's just a colour change. Who gives a shit? Seriously. That is fucking ridiculous. And you pay $1,500 for it as well for the carbon ones. It makes no sense. I'm still in stock, man. What the fuck? So next we do get the respray and we're going to go primary. We're going to go metallic for this bad boy. Not sure about the colour for it. I think uh, bright purple actually looks really fucking good, man. Bright purple. I've, I've, you know, I've got a bit of a hard on for bright purple just recently. I've just just thought that all these cars look quite good in bright purple. And I'm thinking, I want my, all my cars in bright purple. What the fuck? But I'm not going to change it to bright purple. I'm going to go with something different. Um, not really sure what colour to go with. Even though this... This brown looks quite nice, actually. It doesn't actually look too bad. Wow. Was it a sienna brown in metallic? That looks quite sweet. I'm going to go with that. Why the fuck not? Then we're going to go to secondary colour, also in metallic, and purchase the sienna brown. Then we've got the option for the trim colour. This is obviously just going to be the interior. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to change it. Probably just going to leave it graphite. It looks pretty nice um, in graphite. Then we've got the roof. So we've got, fuck, we've got a good few amount of options for the roof. We've got the carbon roof. Uh, the intake, I like that, that looks cool, man. The intake carbon, uh, painted vents, they look quite good. That looks quite good, but I prefer the intake still. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say the intake is still probably the best looking. Let's have a quick look at it again. Um, intake or the carbon vented roof? I don't know now. I think the carbon vented roof actually looks quite nice. Uh, we've got the intake. Yeah, I'm going to go with the carbon vented roof. That looks pretty sweet. Then we're going to go to the side skirts. So we've got the primary extenders, uh, the secondary extenders, the primary. <laughs> then we've got the secondary street. Uh, we've got it's lit. Wow, what the fuck, um, oh, man? Why'd they make this so difficult? I mean, they all look very similar, but I need one of them because I think a stock is not really low enough. I don't know because I've got that extended spoiler at the front with ex extended diffuser whatever the fuck it was called I feel I feel like I need to extend the side skirt but then again I don't really want to because it's a, a, the color I don't need what the one time I need something carbon they don't give me the fucking option so I'm gonna say stock for the side skirt uh, then we are going to move on to the spoiler uh, we do get a story a spoiler of stock sorry and um, that's not too bad that looks quite nice with the way it's toned down a little bit we've got a custom body wing I like that uh, these ones are a little bit ugly. Not sure about that one. Uh, that's not too bad, I suppose. That's a no-no. That doesn't suit the car one tiny bit. So I, th I think the custom wide body, or the custom body wing, sorry, is uh, the best looking one. So I'm going to go with that. Then we're going to go to the suspension. I'm going to purchase the sports suspension. Transmission, I'm going to get a race transmission and turbo tuner. Now for the wheels, guys, I am going to change these because them stock wheels are fucking disgusting. I hate them. They're horrible. I really, really dislike them for some reason. I know that they're not too bad, I suppose. Uh, they're going to be somebody's taste, but for me, I just really, really dislike them. <laughs> so I'm going to go wheel type. I'm going to go into the high end. Do I want to go high end? Yeah, I'm going to start with high end. Good chrome. Um, no, actually, I'm not going to go high end. Or should I? Should I go with the carbon ones? The crap carbon ones actually look quite nice. But I don't have to pay 83 fucking grand for them if I'm having them in carbon carbon anyway. So I'm going to go stock. Uh, then we're going to go... Hang on. Was it stock? Yeah, stock rim, sorry. And um, we're going to get the... Should we go with the carbon solar or the cheetah carbon? Those ones don't look too bad, actually. The carbonic Z. Yeah, man. We're going to go with the carbonic Z. Whilst we're here, guys, we're going to go into the tyre enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my bros, there is my build on the brand new Taipan which was released with the SA Super Sport Series DLC. Um, like I said at the beginning, really really not happy with all the supercars we're getting. Um, I don't think any of them look spectacular, none of them look unique enough for me. Even though now after customising this Taipan, it actually looks quite nice. You know, I'm happy with the customisation you can do to it. What little customisation you can do to it. Um, I think I've actually improved it a little bit. That colour, I've never really used the Sienna Brown before, but I think it actually suits this vehicle really, really nicely. Which is, um, you know, a welcome, welcome shock, should I say. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks okay. Like I say, I'm not 
I'm not sold on the supercars in this game anymore. I've really, really gone off them. Um, I think they're just chucked in the game to line the pockets of Rockstar because there's, you know, people that are just going to go buy a shark card just to get this vehicle. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion and I'm going to say don't do it. One, because why would you want to spend two million on a new supercar when <laughs> it is so slow? Two, why would you want to spend two million on a supercar which looks like every other fucking supercar in the game? And three, why would you want to spend two million on a supercar which has very, very little customization? So that's three valid points on why not to buy this vehicle. There's so many better supercars in the game that you can buy um, instead of this one. I know it's brand new. I know a lot of people are going to want it because it is brand new. But I'd steer clear of it. Save you money for something else in this DLC. You know, um, I think it's going to be pretty much the same story for all the supercars. I'm pretty sure the new entity isn't that great around the track either. So you probably get the same sort of story from that from different people on YouTube maybe giving reviews on it aren't going to be too pleased with it because it is so fucking slow for the price tag um, which is just disappointing but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave me a thumbs up and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time guys I'm out adios